Hello and welcome to Photography. This class is a basic photography course with digital editing projects that help students take and edit excellent photos and prepare them for photography for life as well as earning graduation credits in fine arts or CTE in Washington State. I'm Amy Robertson and I'm the art and CTE instructor at Big Picture. I teach the high school photography class. I'm an artist and an art instructor. I've been an art instructor in public schools in Bellevue since 2001. I've taught high school art and CTE here in Newport High School. I've taught every class we offer for art except for hot glass. So I have a lot of experience with ceramics, photography, video production, stained glass, graphic design, AP art, and computer technology. And as an artist, I specialize in ceramics, photography, drawing, and painting. Photography's really changed a lot in my life. When I was 16, I got my first film camera, and it was a Pentax K1000. And I would go out on the weekends and take a lot of pictures, drop my film off, and wait for it to get developed. It was so exciting. When I decided to get a job working in photography, I was 17, and I worked in a dark room in my little town developing film and printing images for the local paper. Working in a dark room as a high school student was a really interesting experience. When I moved into college, I still continued working in a dark room. And then when I got my first job teaching high school at Newport High School, I taught dark room photography. A couple of years later, everything switched over to digital, and that's the world that we live in right now. I have two boys, and we live south of Bellevue on the east side. Uh, my oldest is actually is in his first year at college, and my youngest is a sixth grader at Tilcom. We love seeing our extended family that live around the United States, but especially we love spending time with my mother-in-law and the kid's grandma who lives up close to Scotland. I'm really proud to be a part of Bellevue Big Picture School. I was here the first two years when the school first opened, and then I returned again and I've been back for the last four years. What I really miss about being on campus is the wonderful courtyard and the students and seeing everybody. Um, I miss the digital lab with the bustling and the fun and the excitement. So this year is a little bit different online, but it's still gonna be great. So this is my schedule. I have four different classes that I teach each semester. This will be available to all families and students in my syllabus. There are four main course objectives for this class, and to cover all of that, we have a lot of course modules in photography. First, we start with the camera and composition. We review the history of photography. We look at how to take photographs with the fundamentals of art. And then we learn Photoshop basics, light and lighting portraits, and then we get into some super fun Photoshop magic with illusions in Photoshop. This class is for any student who wants to strengthen their basic art and design skills with photography and digital editing. It's also going to help students gain confidence in their artistic expression in photography and be a part of a supportive community of student artists. This course uses the four art and media standards from the National Core Art Standards. They are creating, presenting, responding, and connecting. I also use 21st century skills from the ISTE standards. We use Teams to communicate with students and have online meetings. As you can see in this image, the general tab in this class is where all announcements for the class take place. I post these here in the beginning of the week so students know what to expect. Also in the class general channel, at the very top, there's a tab called Assignments. When students click the assignments, they can open up anything I have assigned to them. They can access the information in the tab and see all of their assignments. And when they're done, they click the Turn In button to show that they've completed it. This step is really for students to self-manage their assignments to see what they need to do and what they've already completed. The great thing about Teams is I can have lots of different channels where I can hold specific information. I have a class meetings where our general meetings are in the mornings. The asynchronous meetings are in another channel. 
and I have class recordings, which is wonderful because I can record a class and a student can go in at any time and watch or review information from a class. In the general channel, I also have a Flipgrid tab at the very top. I will be assigning a Flipgrid every once in a while to all students. It's a video platform where students can go on in their own time and record an answer to a question or talk about their work or share something about their assignments. It's a really great platform for us to share with each other. Students can also comment or leave video feedback for others. In the general channel in Teams, there's also a tab at the very top called Class Notebook. The Class Notebook is the OneNote for our class. The OneNote holds the primary content for our class. It has all the curriculum and all the modules. So students have access to look at it online and they can view it in the app also. What you're looking at right now is the OneNote for a course. At the very top, there are tabs, and every tab is a module or important information that students need to access. All the course content is located in the OneNote for easy access. On the right, you'll see pages that are part of modules or tabs from the top. This is an assignment in OneNote. This assignment has an overview and directions. It also has links that take students to different places within the OneNote to easily access information they will need to complete an assignment. Inside my OneNotes, I've created videos and embedded them directly in the OneNote for student access. These videos often show students skills or techniques or information they need to know about learning a new program so they can watch the video and get started with actually creating their work. These videos are also available for public access on my YouTube channel. What you're looking at here is an assignment turn-in page in OneNote. At the very top, there are directions that specifically show students how to turn their work in. Then there's a table for them to insert their work, and usually I put a question about their work for them to answer, and then they grade themselves at the bottom on the rubric. Here's an example of a turn-in page in OneNote that a student has completed and I have gone in to give some comments and I have graded it. Once I grade an assignment in a turn-in page in OneNote, then I go and enter the grade in Synergy where families and students can see the grade posted in the gradebook. Many projects in this class are based on students completing artwork individually, but projects will include project-based elements in collaborative work. Some of those things are peer feedback, peer discussions, and writing, peer feedback for other students' work. A lot of the peer feedback will happen on our Wednesday asynchronous time every other Wednesday where students will post a work or something in progress to get feedback from others. So this is a photography course, and so a student needs to have either a cell phone that takes photos or a digital camera for this course. If a student does not have access to either of those, please contact Amy and we will make arrangements for some type of digital camera to be checked out to that student. Please don't go and purchase anything for this class, but contact Amy if you need anything. I want every student to feel success in this class. So in order to get to that point, Family and student communication with me is super important. So please make sure that you contact me or encourage your student to contact me for help. The asynchronous times in the afternoons and on every other Wednesday is essential for students to come if they need extra help. The best way to get a hold of me is to send me an email if you're a family member. Students can send an email or they can send me a Teams chat. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you have any questions, please contact me. It's going to be a really great year. Thank you so much.